call toll-free 1-800-229-3000. Now, back to New Life Live. We're back. Nancy from Oakdale, California, listens on KADV. Hello, Nancy. Hi, Steve. Thank you for taking my call. Certainly. Um, My question is, and I've called the show at previous times in this process, so thank you for your advice. I've used it, and it's helped me out. My question is, how do I handle a funeral donation for my dad's passing um, given by an ex-boyfriend whom I had an emotional affair with? Okay, so your father died. Yeah. And a person you had an emotional affair with has given money out of respect for your father? Yes. Are, and are you are you married, Nancy? Yes, I am. And I was at the time I was involved in this emotional affair. I confessed to my husband. There had been other um, infidelities leading up to our marriage. Um, we had some issues that I couldn't face up to, and... That was kind of the way I dealt with it. Okay. Why would you um, Why would you not take the up. Why would you not take the donation? Yes. The issue is uh, my husband feels very strongly that he's been humiliated by this person, and he has in his mind that this guy is walking around thinking, you know, what she was married to him, but I was still the kind of loved. involved with her, and so he is very much in the war path mode. Um, because of this and, you know, the other infidelities I mentioned to you, everything has become a question of loyalty. So he's... Send it back. I, I'm sorry? Send it back. Yeah. I, it's, now it's like... Ev- not I worth have it. To, it's not worth it. Everything I have to do, any opportunity I get, I have to prove my loyalty. Sure. And if that requires stamping out the other person, then he doesn't no, that's care. That's not stamping out, Nancy. You're not stamping out anything. You're well, saying... I think it's a little humiliating and... Since it involves a death, it's a little bit in bad taste, but... That's really not true. Um, That's not true. No, no. Your your father passed away, and you're honoring him in many other ways, and you have a marriage in crisis, and you're doing... Steve has a really good book about making making restitution that we'll send you, but you're making restitution to show your husband you really changed, and you've repented, and you want to be healthy, and so for the sake of your marriage, you send the money back, and the man's an adult. People get checks sent back all the time. He's not going to be humiliated or devastated. It's just a small price to pay for a big for a big problem. Just send yeah. it back. All right. I'm glad you called us, and uh, we'll send you the book Transformation. I hope that'll be a blessing to you. 